My name is Captain Byron Knight. I've been with the Sheriff's Office for 23 years. I am currently assigned to support services. Support services basically encompasses everything. Everything from sanitation, food service, and shift support. We have an inmate workforce. The inmates make their own food. They're supervised by about two to three, well, two officers and one civilian. And we run three different shifts. Those guys, they, they do a really good job and uh, get up early in the morning and put in long hours just to ensure that the meals come out. Medical also falls under support services, so my interaction daily with the nurses, uh, making sure, you know, they're going out on their rounds during med pass, you know, and our, the support services also provides the officer for security for medical. We move about 25 to 30 inmates through our clinic daily just for physicals. Then when you add in our diabetics and sick call inmates, and we do have some chronic care inmates as well. Once they become incarcerated, everything is a priority then. Diabetics that hadn't taken insulin in days, now they need emergency care. We need to do something to get your insulin under control. 70, 30, 30 units a day, twice. And we do our best to provide every inmate a screen immediately once they come in. That's one of the first things before they can even be moved or anything, they have to be seen and cleared by medical. Since the jail is so old, we face a lot of different challenges just trying to maintain things like just heat and temperature, not too hot in the summertime, not too cold in the wintertime, all kinds of plumbing issues because of the age of the building. The electrical system has been reworked and reworked. It's to the point now where some of the uh, cinder blocks are cracking just from the settling and moving of the building over time. It's just constant challenges. Well, one of the biggest changes was the introduction of the technology that we use now. As far as the RFID readers and the inmate tracking system and electronic log books, most of all of our reports are digital now, as opposed to the old pen and paper when I started. Everything was handwritten. But now we have a digital record and it's much easier to retrieve that information when we need it. I interact with just about everybody from the MA population to our civilian employees, court liaisons, and our maintenance team. As far as the inmates, you know, just addressing their basic issues somebody needs this or somebody needs that, they need to see the counselor or the chaplain also falls under support services. So different inmates are requesting to see the chaplain and get into different programs and stuff like that. What's that? You can grab that stuff out the bars for me. How you doing? I can't call it, man, you doing all right? I'm in a unique situation because I've been there so long. I'm booking second generation inmates now to where the younger guys are coming in and I knew their fathers. You know, their fathers did a lot of time there. So there's a familiarity that they have with me because they've heard of me and stuff. But in general, the younger, the younger class of inmates that are coming in are way more violent. They're just used to resolving any issues, any challenges with physical violence. And when you couple that with the younger correctional officer, it makes for a very volatile mix. So we, we put a lot of time and training in teaching our officers how to defuse situations before they become violent, how to read body language and how to take those precautions. Fortunately, we don't maintain any females at our facility which is a good thing right now because of the age of the building, we are definitely not designed to handle the specific needs of a female inmate. Just in our booking area alone, when we 
do have females down here, that's where they're housed at until we can transfer them. And we run into difficulties just at the number. We only have one designated female holding cell. So, and at the rate that the females are committing crimes now and violent crimes, you have females that are gang banging every bit as hard as the males. So that is also a challenge teaching our younger guys not to underestimate the females. They'll come in with knives and weapons hid, just like a male inmate. And the thing about females, they are even more quick to strike than a male would be. I actually really enjoy my job. I've been doing this since I was 18 years old. So when you had my military time, and as soon as I got out of the military, I joined the sheriff's office, and I've been doing this pretty much ever since, so. Hey, they pay me for this. Trust me, I'm real good at this. I got you.